Hi guys welcome back to spartan tackle fishing obviously today's video is another bait challenge does pig head work as shark bait so that's what we're here to do today now we've already been on the beach you guys it is absolutely freezing um, we just woke up what we're gonna do first is we're gonna have some bacon some eggs and some orange juice so we're gonna fill our bellies up also last night, so we're here last night, we're on Bolivar. Again, the reason I'm on Bolivar during the winter is, Bolivar is the closest beach to my house, all right? But it is super cold out here. <laughs> That's why I'm wearing this jacket. Now, um, another thing y'all, um, you know, we're just gonna work really hard. What I have to do first is I have to splice my line back because last night I had one cutoff. That makes, I think, six cutoffs for the year. So I'm doing really good with cutoffs, but we're gonna show you guys splicing. We're gonna show you guys how to file hooks and then we're gonna send that bait out. So stay tuned. All right, guys, we got the pig here. Now I'm gonna hook the pig. This is the first time I've done this, so I'm not an expert on hooking pig heads. But here's what's really important. Now the hooks that we're using, usually we're using catch-all hooks. Really big advantage of the catch-all is you can file them sharp with a simple file. So I'm gonna file this hook first. All I'm doing is I'm just holding the file, you know, stationary, and I'm taking the hook, and I'm just going, I'm just giving it a nice little sharpen like that. Can you see that okay? Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm doing that, you guys, almost every time I'm taking out a bait. Now, and the way that I could tell whether or not the hook needs to be sharpened is I take my fingernail and in the end of the hook, and if it cuts in my fingernail, can you see it cutting? You see it scratching? Yeah. So if it scratches into my fingernail like that, the hook is sharp enough. If I'm doing that and it doesn't scratch, I'm taking the file and I'm sharpening it. So every time you deploy, you gotta make sure your hook is sharp. It is the difference in, in hooking up and not hooking up. Now, as far as the pig, I don't know. I don't know where, I don't, I don't like this bait, you guys. I think I may be wasting my time. Um, I think I'm just gonna go, I think I'm just gonna go right. I think I'm just gonna go right here. You know where I had it for the, the thumbnail. This is a, you guys, this is a very big bait. It's gonna take a big shark <laughs> to get this. This is a huge bait. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I am definitely not confident, but I'm gonna fix, I'm gonna kayak this. I'm gonna try really hard. I'm gonna put a lot of effort and hopefully we get a tiger shark or something big with this pig. You guys stay tuned for the kayaking next. All right guys, it's time to kayak winter style. That's why I have the waders to stay dry. Like I said, don't do it, okay? You could drown, it could be dangerous. I'm wearing a life jacket and it is flat right now. So I'm wearing waders. Now here's the thing, you guys. I'm gonna go about 300 yards. I'm gonna drop this right here. Now here's the thing. I know it may not be the best bait, but if something picks that up, it's gonna be huge. I'm hoping a giant tiger shark, I don't know, something giant. So if we get a run and we actually hook something up on that, it is gonna be monstrous. And right now, here's the thing. There's three shrimp boats. One, two, yeah, three shrimp boats within 500 yards. So I'm gonna drop this, like I said, 300. It's possible something comes off the shrimp boats and slams this pig head. I don't know, I'm gonna be optimistic. I'm gonna to try to get it. It's gonna be massive if we catch. Stay tuned, hopefully we do this. Got 
shrimp boats all over the place. Really close. That shrimp boat is, I don't know, 300 yards maybe for me. The other one is maybe 400. That one's a little further, but there's like three right here. I'm gonna try to get as close as possible without getting in the nets. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm fixing to drop the pig head now. I'm at about 400 yards, let's say. So let's do this now, let's do this right. There's a bit of a current. Make sure all these legs are bent back perfect. All right, let me slide that down. It's pretty deep here, which is good, real good. All right, here's the pig head all right here. See you later, pig head. Woo! All right, guys, here we go. We're in business. We're in business now. Okay, guys, now I went out a good ways with that bait. And I'm, you know, honestly, I'm feeling a little bit optimistic because there's three shrimping boats out here. So I don't know what these boats are gonna hold, what type of fish, but it's stirring up all kinds of stuff. I see all kinds of dolphins, all kinds of birds diving. Whew, but I got that pig head out there. I mean, I'm probably a hundred yards from where they're going up and down the lines with that shrimp. So if there's something big out there, you know, it, it may blast it. I know this for sure, I'm gonna let it eat. I'm gonna let it eat for days. But anyways, you know, it is possible we actually get something. I'm gonna get back to shore now. It's uh, getting a little bit choppier, which is good. I was worried it was getting too flat. Sit tight, you guys. All right, there was a hit here. Now I got my drag on high because my spool went a little too far out, but that was a hit. There it goes, there it goes. Huge red, dude. Nice, nice, dude. All right, well, we'll get it back in. Good job, dude. Very nice. Woo, there we go, there we go. Which one, the blue one? What happened? It was red. He's running or what? There's tap, tap, tap. You didn't pull? No, I didn't pull. Lower that drag a little. It's pretty loose. Loosen it a bit more. This trash we got look at this look at this look at that all that just in this little area alone it, it only took five minutes we said 15 minutes it only took five minutes to clean up everything in this whole area behind the camera we went out of sight and everything but do your part play your part be responsible and fish smart y'all take care Woo. all right guys this is the end now, uh, obviously it was really slow. We got a couple hits, but this time of year is always slow. Obviously the bait challenge did not work. The pig head did not work. But what I think I'm gonna do is when it's like really, you know, there's a lot of shark frenzies here in Texas. I may run some of the bait challenges back 
All right, what I was trying to say before my GoPro cut out is I'm gonna continue to do some bait challenges, but unfortunately this time of year in Texas, it's just there's not that many sharks. So it's really not a good idea to do a bait challenge this time of year. So I'm gonna start doing um, next year, I'm gonna do a lot more bait challenges when there's a lot more sharks around. Now it's a bait challenge, it's not supposed to be easy. It's not called easy bait, it's called bait challenge. So it was fun, you guys. You know, you guys saw I worked really hard. I got about 150 yards for those shrimp boats and still nothing came off those shrimp boats. I was so bummed out about that. I really felt Felt like we were at least gonna get you know a hit or something or the the pig would come back with teeth marks but y'all saw that there was absolutely nothing that hit that pig head but you guys thank you for following along with us don't forget to go to our website spartantackle.com check out some of our leaders and we'll see you guys next time once again thank you guys